we have with us Dr. Lena Deshpande, developmental pediatrician. Her specialization deals with treating and diagnosing children with developmental delays. Today she's going to talk about learning disabilities and the various conditions associated with it. Doctor, there are many children who don't do well in the studies. Why does that happen? See, you're quite right. There's a sizable number of children who are not doing so well in their academics. Um, what we need to remember is not doing well in academics or academic underachievement is only a symptom. It's like fever, you know. Uh, we need to find out what the cause of fever is before we start treating it. So is it because of a cold? Is it typhoid? Is it malaria? Similarly, when a child is not doing so well in school, we need to take a step back and find out what the cause behind this underachievement is. Lot of times what happens is, a child who's failing in school causes immense amount of stress at home, in school, and for the child himself. There's a lot of blame game which goes around. If we are able to find a, either a medical or a neurological or a developmental cause which is causing the child to not succeed or not do very well in his studies, it helps the parents and the teachers to understand that the child is not doing it deliberately. He's not just being defiant or stubborn. He's not being lazy. It's because the child is unable to learn the way he is being taught because of a certain condition which is beyond his control. It's not that the child doesn't want to learn, but he's unable to learn with the present system of teaching. So what are some of the medical reasons for academic underachievement? There are various medical causes uh, which can interfere with the child's learning ability. Simple ones like uh, refractory errors and hearing, assess hearing problems in children should be picked up and treated. Medical conditions like uh, if, if a child is, has a chronic medical condition and is missing out on school, he might not be able to pick up or catch up with the, the studies at school. Various medications also interfere with children's uh, concentration ability and can interfere with learning ability of a child. We also know that there are various socioeconomic uh, problems which can lead to a learning problem in a child. So if the child is coming from a lower socioeconomic uh, economic class or there is very poor motivation uh, at home, uh, this, might, uh, this might be seen. Various psychological problems in children like depression, anxiety uh, can lead to learning issues and these need to be identified. And now there are various neurodevelopmental conditions like uh, ADHD or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder which will interfere with a child's concentration in school. There might be conditions a child might be having autistic spectrum disorder or the child might be having a learning disability like dyslexia, dysgraphia or dyscalculia which might be interfering with the child's learning at school. This really gives us a good insight into a child's mind. But could you tell us what exactly are learning disabilities? Every so often you come across a child who is bright, intelligent, chatty, speaks very well, very well behaved, but yet for some reason he is unable to master the simple reading and writing skills at school. So this is a child with good IQ as much as his uh, friends, but he's lagging a lot behind in, uh, as compared to his friends in his academic achievement. This is a kind of a child who probably has learning disability. So learning disabilities are persistent, severe difficulties in learning of a child, especially reading ability, writing ability, and or mathematical uh, skills. And this all is despite the fact that this child has normal or above average intelligence, despite the fact that the child is well motivated, he comes from a good socioeconomic condition and is following a conventional uh, instruction pattern. And what causes learning disabilities? Learning disability uh, happens because there's been some problem in the, what we call as the wiring of the neurons in the brain. And uh, what we have found is children who um, have uh, been, you know, who have had, who are in the high risk category, were again born prematurely or having low birth weight, have spent time in intensive care. These are the children who are at higher risk for developing learning disabilities. Learning disability is also associated with various genetic and syndrome conditions like Down syndrome, Fragile X syndrome, and we always look for this when we are assessing the child. Can parents pick up the symptoms early? Again, there is no one symptom which, is, uh, which points towards learning disability. It's a combination of symptoms. So a child who is in the uh, pre-primary uh, section might have problems with his speech and language. He might have had speech and language delay, maybe poorly concentrating, might be overactive, have poor coordination 
or balance. The child might have problems in learning simple rhymes. The child might not be able to distinguish right and left very easily as much as his friends can do. The child may have problems with pencil hold or pencil control. He might have problems with his fine motor hand movements like he may not be able to button or unbutton his uh, shirt buttons. Uh, these are some of the early symptoms um, which can be picked up at the, at the age of three to four years of age. Now these children we do not diagnose them as to have a learning disability. The diagnosis of learning disability comes much later. The child will, may have significant difficulties in learning phonics. The child might have problems with letter reversal. So they might be confused between B and D or P and Q. As the children grow older, they might have significant difficulties in spellings. They make simple spelling mistakes. They are very slow in their writing. So their, their notebooks end up being very incomplete. As they grow older, uh, they say start falling significantly behind their peers in reading and writing abilities. Now what happens, this is all happening in face of a normal IQ of a child. The child is bright child and in spite of this, he is in, or despite this, he is still falling behind in his reading ability. This causes a huge negative impact on the child's self-esteem and self-confidence. And very often than not, there are behavioral problems which emerge from this. The child might become very frustrated, may become aggressive, irritable, or on the other hand, the child may become very withdrawn. The child ends up going down a slippery slope if the child is not diagnosed properly and treated as soon as possible. If a parent notices that their child is not able to perform in school, what are the tests you would do to diagnose a learning disability? A diagnosis of a learning disability can be given at the earliest by the age of 8 years of age. The main test which we do is to do an intelligence test of the child to see is there a discrepancy between what the child's ability is and what the child is achieving. If there is significant discrepancy that points towards a learning disability. Further to this, various educational assessments are done to look at what the child's strong points and what the child's weak points are. From this, a diagnosis of whether the child has dyslexia, plus minus dysgraphia, plus minus dyscalculia is done. Following the intelligence test, uh, further educational assessments are done which can help us to uh, highlight the child's strong points and weak points and we are able to diagnose the type of learning disability. Sometimes learning disabilities occurs alone but very often it happens along with other conditions like attention deficit hyperactive disorder, coordination problems in children, various behavioral issues in children. So all of these have to be assessed, diagnosed and treated appropriately along with the learning disability. Once the child is diagnosed with this particular disability, what are the treatment options? It all depends on how severe the learning disability is. It's very important to know that there are certain factors which determine the prognosis or the future of a child with learning disability. The age of diagnosis, very important. Earlier the child is picked up, the better the long term outcome. Second is, what are the facilities available in the local area? If the child has a good remedial teacher who can teach him and correct his problems, the child's outlook is better. Third, it also depends on whether the child has learning disability alone or it is in conjunction with other problems. Fourth, how motivated the family is. Um, certainly, once the child is diagnosed and the child gets the right treatment, the slippery slope which the child was going down can be stopped. The child starts um, achieving and once the child starts achieving in school, the child's self-esteem and self-confidence improves. And that in itself is a huge achievement. Children who have been diagnosed uh, with learning disability can apply for uh, educational concessions. Making use of these concessions in uh, either exams helps the child to come to par with their peers. Now this helps the child to improve in his academic skills. This helps the child to improve his self-esteem and self-confidence. And in the end, that is what matters the most. Found our information useful? If you find the video helped you, please like it. Tell us what you think about our videos. Please leave a comment. To watch our other videos, click here. For more on your health, log on to healthstartindia.com.